Don Dash is your boy Ash with the Halloween finale. So um, we're gonna do one BTS and we're gonna do one real story. Um, so the BTS, this is it. So um, how does it feel to be in Halloween? Well, first of all, um, it's a bit of a bittersweet. Um, I'll be honest, you guys have been loving the content, which I'm very grateful for. It was a really cool thing. It was a really cool thing where, ah, it's very bittersweet. This is a behind the scene, by the way. Um, so a lot of people, if you don't want to watch it, it's not a it's not a super important video. Um, but it's bittersweet because you guys love the content. Um, I was extremely nervous. I was extremely nervous to to go into a costume. This is the first time I do this. Now, last year we did a small video about a costume, right? And it was very small. And um, it's kind of crazy because it's it's baby step once again. So, um, I might part of myself, absolutely. I had this context, which is really cool. We were opening cards, right? I even had the idea to ask people how much Pokemon affected them, which is, again, our final video. What does Pokemon mean to me? Which is a transfer between Ash and Ink. And it's, it's a beautiful thing because... A fun part, I was supposed to be a Sims character. But then I saw a chick, a woman, streamer, where does Ash catch him? I was like, yo, dude, that's incredible. I know a lot of Pokemon, and it really mattered to me. And lately, <clears throat> I've been having a lot of, um, not just focusing, but I've been putting in a lot of effort into the main channel and the gaming channel. So um, this costume was a cool way to do both, right? Um, because Pokemon is, in my mind, a, a, mo a movie, it is a show, it is a card game, but it's a video game for first and foremost. <laughs> Not a very sweet is I was able to uh, I was able I was very nervous But the beauty is I'm the kind of guy who's very indecisive until I'm not when I have my head down I have my head down. So I knew for a fact that Me getting out of the house was the hardest part The second hardest part was to go to the rest to the, to the store to was to be at the store but going to the store was easy because at first, yes, I was nervous because I was the only person costumed. And I'm like, okay, that's not a big deal. And I went into the store and I realized I'm the last one. I'm like, shit. I'm like, actually, shit. Um, which sucks. But um, in a sweetness, we, we managed to do what we wanted to do. I had a plan for Halloween this year, and I managed to do the plan for Halloween this year, which is great. Which is phenomenal. I'm really happy about that. Um, and now, the, the, it's kind of bitter. See, my goal, and this is a secret I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you, it's actually behind the scene. I'm going to tell you a secret. My mindset was like, as long, as long as I'm not the only guy wearing a costume, I'm good. And I don't care what I look like. There's somebody else wearing a costume. Right? And if somebody was to say, yo, what the fuck, the fuck costume? Who wears a costume? I could be like, oh, there was the other guy. I'm not going to point out, obviously. But still. I thought it was kind of cool, you know? But there was nobody. And do I care about nobody's wearing a costume? Well, it makes it harder. And it kind of feels sad because... <clears throat> okay, oh my god. I wasn't even going to do psychology. But let's do a little psychology. See, the channel is first and foremost a, a way for me to improve as a human being it is a way for me to become a better person to become more apt to survive in society the guy who started the channel not apt to survive in society this guy would have ended up unlighting himself I made a I, I come a long way since that guy I've evolved a lot but I'm not done evolving right and the part of me that lies and that part of me that lies was thinking, you know what? All I need is one other person to disguise himself. Then I don't look crazy. But deep down, that's not the truth. The truth is, as long as there's one more person who disguises himself in the whole of the shopping center, then it's an event. And that way of make, putting a costume was again part of the celebration of Halloween. I don't care to what extent. It was again part of the celebration of Halloween. So being the only guy that cared enough to put a costume, right? No, if I'm being honest, um, if it wasn't for filming, I would have not done it. But if it wasn't for filming, I would still be that guy that started the channel. Understand? And I think that guy doesn't exist anymore. 
I think this guy that you see right now is a real me. It's a bit of the confidence that built me up, you know? But that was a bittersweet. Um, I don't know I said that. It was good. I'm pissed about the Venom. So if you go, if you go on a website, I'm not gonna, I'm not talking to you guys like about the theater. If they're watching this, if they're not watching this, then fuck you. You're not watching this. Yeah, <laughs> and the sound is so wrong. Okay. Um, I went to the website, and when you tell me your movie starts at four fifteen, and I go in here at four fifteen, the movie's already start. Now it did occur to me after fifteen minutes, twenty minutes, maybe I'm in the wrong room. So the the thing I did, I went to the theater, and there was no, there was next to no employees. It was one person at the cashier for popcorn. That's about it. Nobody to take my ticket. Nobody. I could have stole it. I would have stole it if it wasn't for the video. But I needed a ticket to show a thumbnail, which was a good idea. Um. So I didn't really see the whole thing. But listen, I, I wasted 20 minutes. So it's not a big deal. But still, it's like, okay, well, the plan was, okay, cool. You're going to go somewhere in disguise. The main plan was to watch Venom. It wasn't to go costume, you know? I was an excuse to go to somewhere it comes to costume. It's like, well, I need to go to the grocery store to buy eggs and milk. <clears throat> but they have a special on bacon, so I'm gonna buy bacon. You know, you know what I mean? And lastly, um, the, pr the biggest pros, the biggest pros, and you saw that in the last video we did, I asked people, I asked my friend, and this is truly behind the scene. I think it's more behind the scene than that. That's how life is amazing. If there was more people, okay, that had a costume, I would have not think about that. But because I felt like oh, I'm the only guy, I think about what if I ask my friend, who's your favorite Pokemon? And I got 12, 15 answer. And I'm like, yeah. Maybe I was the only one in Gossam here, but I'm not the only one that cares about Pokemon. And I'm not the only work, the one who cares about this. See, even then, I got recognized three times. One of the guys said, yo, co nice costume. He was smiling, so I was like, okay, cool, thank you. There was a girl talking about Pikachu, which I mentioned, and there was another guy who, who always said, hey, what's up, Ash? And I was like, yo, kind of cool. But at, at, the, at the same time, you know, It's weird. It's weird because I spent so many years. And I, that's my fault, though. But I spent so many years not giving a fuck about Halloween. And when you walk around, you saw me doing nature corn and giving shout out to people who decorate their their houses, which is a lot less. So is Halloween not a thing anymore? I don't know. I have no clue. Anywho, long enough video. Take it easy. Peace.